Hi friends, now I am going to discuss Applied Physics Part 3. Applied Physics Part 3. Nothing but light. Light. Light is form of radiant energy. Light is a form of radiant energy. That is, it is a form of energy radiated by luminous bodies. Radiated by luminous bodies. Light is propagated with the velocity of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Very, very important. That is, speed of light is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. And the Newton's theory of this light uh, is nothing but velocity of light in denser medium is greater than in rarer medium. Velocity of light is greater than, uh, is higher in denser medium than the rarer medium that is uh, velocity of light in uh, denser medium is greater than in rarer medium and uh, Huygens wave theory Huygens wave theory according to this uh, wave theory wave motion can be longitudinal as well as transverse that is uh, uh, according to this wave theory wave motion can be longitudinal as well as transverse here wave means nothing but light waves and here some uh, some kind of disturbance produces waves some kind of disturbance produces waves through these through these waves light energy is transmitted that means some kind of disturbance produces waves through these uh, uh, waves uh, light energy is transmitted and this theory is used to find the that means this theory means uh, Huygens wave theory is used to find position of wave form used to find position of wave form and next theory is Planck's quantum theory. Planck's quantum theory. According to this quantum Planck's quantum theory, light is emitted in the form of packets. Emitted in the form of packets of energy. And these uh, packets of energy is called quanta. Is called quanta. According to this Planck's quantum theory, light is emitted in the form of packets of energy. And these packets of energy are called quanta. And energy is associated with each packet is called photon. Energy associated with each packet is called photon. And E equal to H nu. E equal to H nu. Here H is the Planck's constant. H is Planck's constant. H equal to 6.62 into 10 power minus 32 joule per second. Joule per second. It is very very important. Planck's quantum. Uh, Planck's constant. H equal to. 6.62 into 10 power minus 32 joule per second and this Planck's quantum theory explained phenomena of photoelectric emission and also Crompton effect and also Crompton effect but the disadvantages of this uh, Planck's quantum theory it is unable to explain interference diffraction diffraction and uh, polarization it is unable to explain interference diffraction and polarization once again light is in the form of uh, radiant energy and it is the velocity of light is 10, 3 into 10 power minus 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and Newton's theory is nothing but uh, velocity of light in denser medium is greater than the rarer medium and according to this uh, Huygens wave theory wave motion can be both longitudinal both longitudinal and as well as transverse and some kind of uh, disturbance produces waves and through these waves light energy is transmitted and this theory is used to find out the position of waveform and next to Planck's quantum theory according to this Planck's quantum theory light is uh, emitted in the form of packets and these packets are called quanta and energy associated with each packet each packet is called as photon and energy is uh, energy equal to h nu and h is the Planck's constant and h equal to 6.62 into 10 power minus 32 and the disadvantage of this uh, Planck's quantum theory is it is unable to explain interference, diffraction and polarization. Okay. And next one. Next topic is focal length. Next topic is focal length. The distance between forces and optical center is uh, forces and optic center is called as focal length. It is nothing but for a lens 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v. Here f is focal length and u is uh, op, uh, u is nothing but object distance and v is image distance and v is image distance. For the sine uh, sine well, sines of uh, this focal length uh, f is 
positive for convex and negative for concave and f is positive for convex uh, mirrors and negative for concave mirrors and u and v are positive for real and negative for imaginary u and v are positive for real negative for imaginary and f1 f2 are two focal lengths if f1 f2 are two focal lengths then 1 by f that is total length 1 by capital f equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 and focal power focal power is denoted by p and p equal to 1 by f and p is equal to 100 by f in case of centimeters in case of centimeters it is 100 by f and the combined power for this uh, two frequency two f1 and f2 two focal lenses that is p equal to p1 p1 plus p2 and the power of converging lens the power for converging lens is positive and the power for uh, diverging lens is negative diverging lens is negative diverging uh, diverging lens is negative and the lens makers formula it is very very important the lens maker formula that for this for this uh, nothing but it is 1 by f f is nothing but focal length 1 by f equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 mu means mu g by mu l mu g by mu l and that means 1 by f equal to mu g by mu l minus 1 into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and the lens equation lens equation 1 by f is nothing but 1 by f equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 here mu is nothing but refractive index of lens refractive index of lens material okay and some important uh, terms and their units are uh, luminous flux luminous flux units are lumen and luminous intensity units are candelas and intensity of illumination and intensity of illumination is meter candela or lux meter candela or lux and uh, next inverse square law of illumination inverse square law of illumination due to this uh, according to this uh, law intensity of illumination intensity of illumination is i proportional to 1 by d square that means uh, the intensity of illumination is inversely proportional to the uh, distance that is uh, distance square that is i proportional to 1 by d square it is i1 by i2 equal to d2 square by d1 square and next term refraction what is mean by refraction when a ray of light travels from one transparent medium into another medium when a when a ray of light tran travels from one transparent medium into another medium it bends it bends while crossing the interference separating the media while crossing the interference separating the media this phenomena is called refraction that means when it travels from one medium to another medium it bends that phenomena is called refraction and if i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction i is the angle of in, in incidence and r is the angle of refraction then refractive index of the medium refractive index of the medium mu equal to sin i by sin r sin i by sin r and also one of the uh, definition of this mu according to the wave theory of light according to the wave theory of life mu light mu equal to velocity of light in air by velocity of line in light in medium m means velocity of uh, light in air by velocity of light in medium okay and next topic fiber optics fiber optics or optical fiber cable optical fiber cable this op fiber optics deals with the light propagation through the glass light propagation through the thin glass through the thin glass it is a refraction it is denser medium it is rarer medium uh, this in this uh, light is propagation from denser medium to rarer medium denser medium to rarer uh, uh, rarer medium here it is a critical angle critical angle when whenever the the incidence angle it is i is means incidence angle c means uh, critical angle whenever the incidence angle is greater than this critical angle then the total inter internal reflection is uh, phenomena de uh, phenomena uh, developed that means uh, 
whenever uh, this uh, ref, uh, incidence angle i is greater than this uh, critical uh, greater than this critical angle then the uh, uh, light is uh, reflected back to the denser medium itself then light is reflected back to the denser medium reflected this phenomena is called total internal reflection internal reflection that is uh, whenever the angle of incidence that is angle of incidence i is greater than critical angle critical angle the ray is totally reflected back that means the ray is totally reflected back back in the same denser medium this is the denser medium this is the rarer medium it is reflected back in the same denser medium the same denser medium this phenomena is called total internal reflection total internal reflection okay the optical fiber is based on this uh, internal total internal reflection phenomena total interaction uh, internal reflection phenomena uh, it transfers the light energy from one uh, one place to another place without that means uh, with negligible loss or without any loss okay for this two conditions are to be satisfied to the uh, tas uh, satisfied for the internal reflection first one is light should be travel from denser medium to rarer medium that means uh, light should be traveled from denser medium to rarer medium side the denser medium to rarer medium side and the second one is the angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle that is the angle of incidence this in angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle then the total internal reflection phenomena will be developed okay and uh, uh, the angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle and next one and medium and their refractive index with respect to air medium and their refractive index with respect to air that is uh, medium if medium is water the refractive index value is 1.33 if it is a glass it is 1.5 it for the diamond it is the refractive index is 2.42 so for diamond it has a high refractive index that is 2.42 and some important bits regarding to this virtual image of bigger size is formed by concave mirror very very important virtual image of bigger size is formed by concave mirror and light waves are transverse waves light waves are transverse waves that is these uh, transverse electromagnetic waves are established by polarization these are established by polarization and the rainbow is produced by refraction and reflection of light rainbow is produced by refraction and reflection of light very very important and blue color of the sky is due to scattering of light blue color of the sky is due to scattering of light and a cut diamond sparkles because of its high refractive index because of high refractive index and an exact enlarged image can be obtained by convex lens convex lens an exact enlarged image can be obtained by convex lens okay okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss remaining topics of uh, uh, physics they are nothing but uh, laser and its applications laser and its applications okay okay thank you